Great work by Brian Byrne and Joe Hanrahan. And a deft side foot by Byrne coming up to finish off a typical Dundalk breakaway. They've been specialising in that kind of goal all season. Worth seeing again as two of the league's finest combine to break Cork City's hearts. Cork the result in corner by Campbell. Byrne got the rewards his efforts deserved on the night. Perfect cross for a perfect header from Byrne as Dundalk signalled their intentions for the season. They came back to record their seventh win in their last nine league matches with a fine goal. Mick Byrne, he set Peter Whitnell away and his perfectly timed cross gave Brian Byrne the chance, the easiest of tasks in completing the scoring on a great day for the champions. Martin Lawler playing in place of a suspended Richie Purdy with the ball forward. Then Hanrahan. And Stephen Kelly on the overlap. A beautiful cross. And what about that for a bullet header? Brian Burke giving O'Neill no chance to keep it out. 1-0 to Dundalk. Lots of young faces in the crowd. Dundalk certainly seems to have turned the corner in terms of attracting support. Once again, a wonderful pass to set the overlapping fullback free. A superlative cross and burn with a tremendous header. O'Neill unable to keep it out. Last minute of the game, all hands on deck, the entire 21 players in the penalty box, including the Pats goalkeeper. And look what happened. Brian Byrne on the break, everyone in pursuit. That's Carpenter, he's passed. Ken O'Dowd catch him. Goes for the tackle, but he's over the try line. Score. An amazing goal. Tony O'Dowd, the St. Patrick's Athletic goalkeeper. Remember, they're a goal down. Everybody up to try and push home their advantage from the corner. O'Dowd caught way up just outside the Dundalk penalty area. The ball broken out to Brian Byrne and he had a go. O'Dowd minded showed a fair turn of pace, but the ball carrier was had the advantage and Paul Campbell couldn't keep it out. They left themselves exposed to precisely this. Joe Hanrahan with a lovely run, leaving Willie Burke behind him. Then it was Brian Byrne and a deflection of John Toll beat Alan O'Neill and Dundalk were in front. Cause for celebration this for Dundalk under Dermot Keeley, a resurgent. 